Welcome to the 2013 Trophy Awards, where we take a look back at the games that came out in the past year and hand out awards in many different categories. In this video, we hand out the award for Easiest Retail Platinum. And the game with the easiest platinum is the Smurfs 2. For this category, I ruled out any Japanese-only games since they have a small audience, uh, so no interactive novels were considered. And I also ruled out PSN-only games that featured platinum trophies. But if you look back on uh, every trophy game that has come out, you will find many of the easiest games are cheap animated movie tie-in games and anything pretty much that Telltale makes. Uh, this uh, game certainly falls into the category of cheap movie tie-in games, uh, where 62% of the players who have played the game have the Platinum Trophy with an average completion percentage of 77%. I'm going to assume that the people who didn't Platinum the game were those under the age of 7 or just love the Smurfs. While not as easy as just simply finishing the game a la The Walking Dead, which incidentally has a lower Platinum percentage, the Smurfs 2 requires you to do specific tasks and be aware of the requirements for the trophies, but the gameplay is designed for the younger audience and the difficulty actually really reflects that. Simply put, you can finish this game without dying with your hands tied behind your back and with a blindfold on. The game isn't the worst out there, but I do recommend that if you are a certified trophy whore, such as myself, to rent the game and don't buy it. Uh, the game is perfect for all trophy hunters or people looking for their first platinum. Not only is it easy, but it can be done in a single afternoon. You just basically need to rush through as fast as you can to complete the main story, which is an entire three hours worth. Uh, once you have completed the game the first time, you'll unlock Smurfette, and more importantly, the ability to change Smurfs at will during each level to take advantage of their unique abilities. Then from there, it's just simply replaying to gather the hidden coins and doing a few other miscellaneous tasks. With a proper collectible guide, it's simple. And in the description, I linked a guide for you. Mm, I wonder if anyone made a video guide. That's right. You know I did already. So uh, you can check that out on my channel. I'll put a link there as well. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, please like the video and make sure you're subscribed and stay tuned for more of the 2013 Trophy Awards.